guys, today I'm going to be doing a review of this. This is the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Oh Darling. I got it this week at Caesars Palace Forum Shop. It's like a MAC Pro Store, but you, anyone can go. So I'm just going to give you my uh, first impressions kind of review of it. So um, the packaging is royal blue. The packaging feels very light. It doesn't feel um, the same quality as the ones that are permanent. I have the Sim a Simpsons blush and it's very heavy. Um, I know it's a blush, it's not, you know, a skin finish, but for me, the packaging feels like it has like a coating of this royal blue and I think this will like kind of fade over time. Anyways, this one is in Oh Darling. This is the highly coveted one. This is the gold one. There's a darker one called Shaft of Gold. I swatched that one in the store. That one's for darker skin and it's really pretty, but I just, I don't really need another blush topper. For me, that one would be a blush topper and this one is a highlight. So I've used this twice and I just want to give you my honest opinion about it. Okay, I feel like if you have a gold highlight or a couple gold highlights, you don't absolutely need this one unless you're a highlighter collector. They're saying this is a dupe or close to Whisper of Guilt. I never got that one. It's really pretty. Um, I have it on right now and I don't feel I feel like you can't really see it and I feel like this one it's so pressed in there that you really have to pack it on. It's pretty. I just feel like it's not uh, to die for. It's not like you know go on the hunt for this and spend $200 kind of um, highlight. Because like I think Heat Wave, Estee Lauder Heat Wave is going for like 150 on Amazon. That's like insane. But I've never tried that one either. But I don't think I would spend $150 on a highlight. I spent $33 on this. And again, I bought this at Caesars Palace Forum Shop. They had a lot of these left. So if you guys live in Vegas, um, they definitely have it there. So if you can find this, I would totally get it. It's really beautiful. It it's, it leaves like a sheen of gold, like a like a wet look of gold. I'm so happy I found this because I never get these in time. I think that it sold out like the day that it launched and they were doing like pre-sale as well. So I would definitely recommend this if you can find it. And if I could choose like another highlight that's similar to this, I would say the Makeup Forever one is kind of similar. At least on my skin tone, I feel like they're kind of, you know, in the same boat. So that was my quick first impression review. And let me know if you guys have any questions, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!